Hey everyone, I'm Angelic Vixen and welcome to Lucky by Nature. Today we are going to be exploring the brand new canoe that was added to Ark Genesis 2. This canoe has some really great features and as you can see, it is perfect for a relaxing fishing trip. And this is the brand new canoe. It is such an amazing design. It looks great on the outside and the features that are in it are absolutely outstanding. Now it does say on the wiki that this is a reskin from Atlas, but you know what? I will take it. The great thing about this is this will benefit new players and seasoned vets as well. You can get it at level 8 and as you can see it doesn't take much to make it. Um, just some fiber, hide, thatch, and wood which is easy enough to get. You will need to use 10 engrams to get it and this thing is going to make your life so much easier. You can go fishing and you can do so many things. Let me show you what I mean. So with the canoe, it holds up to three passengers at a time, which is absolutely incredible. Front, center, and rear. And I will visually show you what each position looks like. Now the greatest thing about this is if you have more than just yourself, each person paddling makes the canoe even faster. But by yourself alone, the canoe is ridiculously fast. So if you're trying to escape something and you have three passengers, nothing is gonna catch you because you are going to be so fast. It's absolutely incredible. This design is going to make some adventures really, really fantastic because you can outrun so many things. But each position is very open and very clear sight. So you will be able to see what you're doing and where you're going with no issue whatsoever. Just look at how fast this thing is. Let me show you. It turns on a dime. Once you get used to it, it is so fast. So let me turn here so I can show you just how easy that is. Now watch this thing in full speed. Just one person. And imagine this times three. Three passengers makes it even faster. Look at this. Now traveling across the water is going to be absolutely incredible. Nothing's going to stop you. Nothing's gonna get in your way. So even you, just by yourself, this thing is going to be an asset in so many ways. So another feature that is available with the canoe is a visual range and it's quite large. So let me show you that now. I'll, you know, zoom up here in my handy dandy tech suit so you can kind of see the range that we are looking at. That is quite significant and you can turn that on and turn it off just so you are fully aware of the visual range of where your canoe is sitting. Another really exciting feature is the inventory on the canoe. It is like a preserving bin. Look at the time. Look at that. That is absolutely incredible. It is just like the preserving bin. The only difference is you don't need spark powder. I was so excited when I realized this because I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to make trips so incredible. When you're fishing, it does not go directly into the canoe. You will have to put it from your inventory into the canoe, but that's an easy enough step and it holds everything. One of the things that I was actually really curious about is, you know, unique items, right? like wyvern milk. And I also want to show you that nothing changes if you do put spark powder in it. Let me grab that really quick before I forget. We're going to go back over there and I just want to show you it even works with unique items like wyvern milk. So you see the time on the berry, no change with the spark powder. It is unnecessary for the canoe. And look at that there you have it. It is identical to the preserving bin. The canoe can be used for so many great things. And it's really exciting because the canoe, you can pick it up. I was wondering if you would, you know, carry it, if you would see it. No, it goes directly in your inventory. It is 15 pounds, but you can take it with you wherever you go. And that is a great feature to have. 
And if everything I've shown you isn't great already, let me show you this so you can change the name, list it however you want. And that is so important because the canoe becomes a spawn point bed where you can spawn back at your canoe. I can see so many creative ways of utilizing this in the game. So let me just show you what it looks like. So you have your bed, you'll have a canoe, and then you'll have your canoe listed however you actually put it on there. Let me just show you here. Let me move it around. There it is right there. So let me spawn back at my canoe. So I have another canoe sitting by just so you can kind of see what it looks like. That way you want to be specific when you change the name. And there you have it. You can spawn at the canoe and you can hide these things pretty well. So as you can see, that's where I died right over there and I am back. It is such an amazing feature for the canoe. All right, so we are back on the island and we're going to test out if the canoe um, will be eaten by the Leeds Ichthys because, you know, that's a definite concern because we know how vicious they are. If you've played this game and ever been on a boat or a raft, you know that you can't really outrun them. They are vicious. And so I just want to show you that the Leeds is uh, hungry and wants to eat my raft. My poor little rafty. It is going to be no more. Oh, there it goes. Such a beast. Such a beast. How can it be so cruel? All right, so let me go over here to the little canoe. Yep, there it goes. It sunk. <laughs> oh, those darn whales. When they added those to the game, I remember how devastating that was because we would be hiding our rafts out near the barrier in PvP. <laughs> And uh, I lost a few things a couple of times. So let's see. Let's see if we can see the leads. Ichthys. There it is right there. And it looks like it is not aggroing on the canoe. But I wouldn't get too excited about that because that might be a glitch and that might get fixed in a future patch. Because we know Wildcard does not like us to have a lot of empowerment on the water. And that is something that the canoe will be too OP because if the Leeds Ichthys doesn't attack it, can you imagine the damage that can be done on the other maps with the canoe? I can see lots of clever ways. But yes, as you can see here, the Leeds is not currently interested in the canoe, but again, I expect Wildcard to fix that in the future. We might get lucky, but I don't know. So that's all I have for you for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you nothing but success in all of your future gameplay. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like and subscribe. We will be uploading videos every week. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.